This is Deki, do you read? I've escaped the Kokiri Forest and infiltrated the town of Hyrule. And I'm now trying to reach the target. All I need to do is get by without being noticed. I'll establish contact after I'm done. Over. Okay! It looks like I'm dealing with gnome skulls. I'll just position myself in a way that keeps me out of their line of sight. This shouldn't be too hard at all. I'm screwing around. Hey everybody, it's Deki Nozai here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we made our way to this castle and today we're figuring out the fruits of our labor. Why did I pull out this chicken? <laughs> hey Zelda, have you ever seen a big white feathery pocket cuckoo before? Well here's mine. Oh yeah, look at that. I bet you like chicken, don't you? Yeah, that's right. You can't eat this! Huh? Who... Who are you? How did you get past the guards? You creep? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then, are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? No, I'm afraid not. Well, that's odd. Thought you might be the one for my dream. Hm, <laughs> you really don't have it? Tell me the truth. Do you have it? Ah, fine, you got me, just as I thought! I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? My name's Link. I am braver than brave. I have a wooden sword from an old man in a cave. <laughs> okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No. I, I refuse. Come on, don't be a blabbermouth. <laughs> but thou must. Okay, fine. You win. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. 
If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? <coughs> Kinda no. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say yes because you're gonna tell me everything. <laughs> I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? I don't want to look at no man. <laughs> man, please. Who do you think I is? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gyarados. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning, yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the, one we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe ya. <laughs> Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. Please. Okay, jeez, fine, jeez, come on, thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such a terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go and find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. What, so you take my chicken and give me your letter? Jeez, thanks, man. I, I seriously appreciate it, man. I had a full course meal there. Why you do this to me, man? Seriously. Why you gotta why you gotta take Zel why you gotta take my chicken? <laughs> so we just learned a lot of things about what's going on. We have we now have a goal to find the three gems and get the Triforce. Sounds easy, right? Before we head on, I just wanna show you something fascinating. Nintendo used to have a habit of placing cameo appearances of its popular franchises as Easter eggs. Well, here's one of them. As you can see, here's Luigi, and previously I just showed you Mario and Bowser. And if you look through this window here, you can see, well, you can't really see it past the beam, thanks. Uh, you can see Princess Toadstool and Yoshi. I really love how Nintendo slips, uh, slips images and cameo appearances into their different games, and I really wish they'd do more of it, but unfortunately the new generations don't seem to do that. I might be missing something, but yeah. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? 
My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. If it's not obvious to you right now, you should uh, use the C buttons to play the song. We just learned the Zelda's lullaby! That's right. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. <laughs> Damn right. Welcome back to Hyrule Field. Lovely view, isn't it? You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko Village. That is where I was born and raised. Whoops, I said village twice, didn't I? You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. Remember that. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with all the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Bye! Whoa, jeez man, just disappearing all over the place. I wish my Deku nuts did that. <laughs> well, welcome back to Hyrule Field once again. We're just gonna enter into the town once more for a quick little minigame session, that's right. So you want to get back into the main part of the town and then walk a little bit, like, counterclockwise until you find yourself in front of a shop that has an arrow sticking out of a target. You want to go in that store. Trust me on this one. <coughs> Alright, so this is a shooting gallery. This is actually a fun little minigame. Uh, I'll read you the sign. Shooting gallery, 20 rupees for one play. There are 10 targets. We, have to, we basically have to kill the target, 10 targets, but we have 15 shots. Uh, yeah. Alright, so it basically costs 20 rupees per play, so let's do this. Let's hope I can get this the first try. I doubt I will, though. <coughs> basically, we have to take aim at the targets from the platform over there, and we're gonna hit 10 targets. We got 15 shots. Draw our weapon with B. Yeah. Now then, um, here's the part where I mentioned I, have the, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of rusty as hell. Oh my god, I, I failed this already. No! Uh, oh well. Practice makes perfect, folks, so, uh, I'm gonna show you the first time of me fail. Oh my god, holy crap. Yeah, if you run out of t uh, 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 you can just play, play again for 20 rubies. Let's see if I do better this time. Jump cut, cause I suck! Alright, I've been practicing a little bit. Obviously, I'm very down to a very low amount of rupees. Uh, hopefully I can get it on this one, cause otherwise I'll have to grind some more rupees, but... Hopefully... Okay, looking good so far. <laughs> Alright. And there's gonna be two from the side, and then yeah, uh, okay, no, no, okay. And then there's gonna be the red ones across the top. Wah, wah. And then another one. Duh, duh. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so what is our prize? What is our prize? It couldn't be. Oh my, it's a Deku Seed bullet bag. It holds up to 40 slingshot bullets. That's right. That is our first ever ammunition upgrade. There are a lot. There's lots more where that came from, but that's the easiest one I can get right now. So, that's about it for this episode of Super... Wow. <laughs> that's about it for this episode of the... Wow, I'm doing it again. That's about it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, we'll continue upgrading our stuff and as much as we can before continuing to the next area, because there's a lot we can get. Until then, take it easy and decky harder!